Hey guys, you know what this week is? It's Shark Week! So, um, decided to work on a shark uh, for you guys, and hopefully we'll have fun with this one because I'm going to show you a couple new things to uh, consider when you're painting, uh, especially with acrylics. It's kind of fun. So, are you ready? Let's make sharks. Let me zoom in here on my shark. Okay, there he is. He's all drawn out. And I will have this tracing on my website. Um, sometimes they're not on there, but uh, that's just because maybe I don't want them on there. I don't know. Um, I have to, right now I have a problem because uh, my computer is being fixed. So, with that being said, I'm going to get some paint we're going to use some blue on this uh, we're going to kind of keep it with the turquoises and the blues and maybe some purples in here um, in order to just make the water and I made him kind of tame uh, I didn't want to have a, a shark that was going to be uh, scary for everybody because you know um, not all sharks I mean they are scary you know we hear stories about them and things like that but uh, we just want to consider them as um, as a part of our environment our water environment and um, and people shouldn't like try to hurt them uh, you know a lot of people want to kill sharks and things like that but they intimidate the shark and that's what it's the problem is so with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so what happened here is um, I don't know. I lost a piece of my video. So what I did is I painted various colors of blue, purple, turquoise, and I heat, and I spritzed it with some water. And I got saran wrap, and I dabbed it. So that is how that went. I am very sorry that this happened. I don't know what happened, but I do show you a little bit. I did go to at the end, and you'll see some of that. So um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. I'm trying to adjust the camera. And I forgot to turn my music off, so I have to get back on. So, there you go. Okay, so what I did here uh, with the shark, and I am missing a whole section. I am not sure what happened to my video. But um, I did the fin, and that's with, I used some Payne's Gray. I used a little bit of the uh, turquoise blue and I painted the fin now here uh, and then um, I also painted the top part of his body with some of that darker color uh, I did the gills in that dark shade and then I highlighted the other part with some blue uh, which was the turquoise blue the light turquoise blue and then I added a little white right beside the gills there now here I am uh, doing the fin um, and that's with some Payne's gray and white uh, I definitely used a lot of Payne's gray here okay sorry I don't know how much I missed here. okay sorry I don't know how much I missed here the camera wasn't on Ugh. I'll explain it. I'm working still on the eye. Uh, I thought I had it on my camera. I don't know if it's full or what. No, I guess it's not. Just forgot to turn it on. All right, so there we go. That's the eye. Now, <clears throat> Blend it so it's not so. 
Okay, you want to make sure you get the eye pretty good. I mean, it takes a little bit of work. You're blending. I'm using a small brush. All right, so what I did while the camera was off. Okay, with my number 12, right, this one here is a <clears throat> master's touch. I went and I highlighted that with some white. I So I just went into my bro, uh, white, just got the tip, the very tip. See that? I just did this, just lightly went over that, okay? And as all you're doing is tapping, you're not really painting anything on, you're just tapping it. I tapped in this a little bit. Tap that in. Tap that in. Uh, tapped it here. Tapped it a little bit here. Okay. Uh, I kind of made some light here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some dark, darker blue and go into my mixture of gray and just kind of tap this to make it a little darker here. Just kind of dry brushing it, okay? Um, just tapping it in, tapping it in, kind of graying it down. really hardly any paint on my brush at all okay uh, now I'm gonna go into my white a little bit work it back and forth in my brush and just kind of like bringing it through here bringing it through kind of giving it a little bit of lightness okay that's what I did um, I worked with the eye, trying to get it to look more natural. Uh, I added a little bit more of the gray here. Um, this part right here, let me see, with the mouth, I need to get that a little straightened out too, because right in here it's a little wider. So I want to get my Payne's gray, and just kind of make it a little bit wider here. Too much on the brush just right in here Ooh, maybe that was just too much on the brush just kind of let it go down there and um, add some white add some white right here And get some of that blue I keep mixing and it keeps drying but I think I have enough on my brush here I can get that kind of want that gray blue shade Um, just take that out. I'm going to get that out of there. So I'm going into my turquoise, mixing it with a little of the Payne's Gray. That's my light turquoise. And just kind of getting this a little bit to come up. Actually, it should be more gray, but. Uh, didn't come out that way, did it? Oh, more paint's gray in this. Okay, let's see here. Just kind of like making the body look a little bit more. Alright, and I'm going to go into my white. Using what I have on my brush, it's okay. Running it back and forth. Kind of coming in here, working that up. Just lightly going over it.
okay? These were some of the things that I did while the camera wasn't running. This is the indication that that's a little bit rounder, so let me get my brush and clean it. And then I can put some white in here. Okay, so let me get some of that deep turquoise. Let me get that out of my, um, that's the heavy body. Just kind of outlining some of this area that I kind of went into. I think he's awesome looking. What do you think? I think we're almost done with this. I'm going to go into my deep turquoise here and just kind of, edge that out a little bit so it's neat. Just want to have a neat looking neat looking uh, shark. We don't want him to be a mess, do we? Make him nice and neat. Sharp edges, you want sharp edges. Just makes for a better painting. So I think we're done. I, I don't know where exactly the camera wasn't on. I darkened this with some of the paints gray. Uh, I still have that as it is because it, it kind of goes with this. Highlighted this area here, got it some light and some dark in through that. Uh, worked quite a bit on the eye. You know, um, your, your drawing, uh, tracing, will have all this in it. So, um, you'll be good with that. Uh, you will have that tracing in there. <clears throat> Let me go in with my paints gray again. I really want this to pop here. Okay. Important. Eyes are important. <clears throat> so, did a little paint gray through that. Uh, traced out the mouth a little bit more. Wanted to get that a little bit lighter. Okay. Um... This here, you can make this a little darker, stand this out a little bit more. Uh, it is kind of a, something with his snout there. Add a little white in here, blend it. And right in here too, it's kind of lighter, okay. Um, Add a little bit more white up in here. Kind of give it a little bit more of that. Like that. Kind of blend it in. Okay, blend it, blend it, blend it. Make sure it's all blended. And I think from this point of view here, we are done. Um, it's just about signing it. And wow. He looks good. I hope you enjoyed this today, uh, Shark Week, and I plan on um, getting this up as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more of the saran wrap because right where this went down, I don't like the way that looks, and it looks unprofessional. So let me get some saran wrap. We're going to fix that with some of the purple and uh, blue. Um, just to finish it off so that it doesn't look crazy. So you're going to get your saran wrap. Uh, I had some, I used my big brush for that. 
and okay I'm going to touch it with this without being too wet just kind of tap it in there just quick. and more purpley down here more purpley down in through here Sometimes all you have to do is just press it on there and that'll cover that up a little bit better. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more purpley in through here only because I want that to blend in to that. Kind of like not having it like a demarcation line there. Even put some more of that purple in through here kind of just to give it a little bit more depth. More depth, more interest. Pop it in. And a matter of fact, you can add some of that purple to this uh, if you'd like. Just so it will cover that up. Just tap it with the paper. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, there we go. We have it done. And I thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you enjoy this painting. And until next time. Bye. Hi, everybody. Um, sorry about uh, this video that I just uh, did with the shark. Um, I wanted to uh, show you how I did some of these um, things because for some reason I was thought I was recording yesterday when I was doing this and it turns out that quite a bit was missed. Um, I don't know if I hit the wrong button or how or what happened here, but I wanted to show you some of these um, things that I did here. So, um, for this background, I have some acrylic paper, and I'm going to show you what I did for this. Uh, I wanted you to get the gist of it because um, it's kind of a cute little technique, and it's uh, fun. You know, it's a fun little piece, and without that technique, I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I think you could probably paint as far as the short goes, I can show you some of the mixtures that I have and um, what was put where on the shark. So what I did is I have my huge uh, brush here and I started out, it was a number 12 and I am going to um, Get, go into my lighter paint right now, which was the turquoise, and that was the uh, turquoise um, that was Deep Turquoise by Winsor Newton. <clears throat> and I just kind of brushed it on the pad here, got a little water with it because you need some water. You definitely need water to do this. And then I got some of my deeper turquoise because I was moving down and this is the deep one. Still have a lot. And I don't rinse my brush off in between here. I just kind of go in, go into some purple and I'll show you those colors in a minute. And this is kind of like the technique. You just kind of blend it in then you get your saran wrap. So you get a piece of saran wrap and you can use any kind. I just get the cheap ones. And you just kind of press it on. Press it on. Lift it. Press it on. Lift it. And if it's not coming off that well, just slightly missed it. Not a lot. You don't want it to run. You want to be able to get that like missed. 
There we go. See how it's like making little divots into the paint? And that's exactly what I did with that background. And I used purple, which was uh, Windsor Violet. I used, um, let's see, I used the deep turquoise, and then I used this one also, which is turquoise deep by Liquitex um, Heavy Body. I used that for my background here. Now, mixtures. I used a deep dark color here for this, and I'll use my large brush just to show you. Now I used Payne's Gray. Uh, ooh, don't want to get messed up here. I used Payne's Gray and uh, my deep turquoise there. So I did a mixture of Payne's Gray, which I need to put out on my my uh, palette here. Let me find it. Okay, and that was Grumbacher Payne's Gray and. Put that out on my palette, and that that's a great one to use as for a mixture to kind of darken it up. And I used my deep violet, so I'm just gonna go into my deep violet. That's this one, little Payne's gray, and just a touch, a touch of the purple, just a touch kind of giving it a little bit of a pizzazz there. And that was what I did here and in this area right in here. Now, uh, this I just added some white to this mixture. This was just purely the turquoise, uh, the um, turquoise deep Windsor, this one was in here. Now for the gills, I actually used this mixture in through here like this, right here, deep, deep. Then I added a touch of white right alongside each one of those and that kind of made it look a little dimensional. In through here I used Payne's Gray. This is a Payne's Gray area. Now, your stencil will have this all divided out for you, so it should be easy to follow. Um, if you have any questions, please write me. I'll be happy to answer any questions about this painting because I think it's such a great painting, uh, and I want you to be able to get this, you know. Um, in through here, I used a solid white, uh, and I used, let's see, I used this um, number 12. It was a number 12 bright, and I, it's a master's touch. And I just dabbed it in. I can see there's a little bit of thing here. Just moving it around the snout, just a little bit, and kind of blending it down here into that. little snout and around his mouth that's also real light um this is light here so that's a little bit of white in through there I also put a little bit of white on this fin here now this here fin is uh, the mixture I put a little raw uh, sienna in there and that would have been let's see where's that at That, oh, raw umber. I am sorry. It's raw umber, and that was a Windsor Newton. Mixed a little bit of that in my uh, light blue, this one. This was a Liquitex Basic Light Blue Permanent. And I mixed that, and that's what is in here. Um, this could be a little darker. Uh, I'm thinking maybe to go a little darker with that, so I'm going to do that for you right now. Uh, make that a little darker and I'm just going to use that number 12 brush uh, I'm going to mix a little bit of my umber and white 
in some of my light blue just a tad of that light blue put a little bit more of the umber in there just kind of like go under this a little bit this needs to be a little darker it's shaded this is the shaded area for him so you just kind of shade it in um, like that kind of looks a little green and that might be because the uh, umber kind of gives it a little greenish tinge um, maybe I'll add a little bit of my uh, gray that might be better into that blue kind of go over that instead because I don't want that to be a green just dark kind of matching this here and here. Kind of giving it a little bit more depth. Now I outlined that in the um, gray. make that a little darker here just take it slow take it slow uh, his lip here this was a little bit darker right in through here okay and I think that was all that I needed to do I highlighted it this with white kind of came in with that bluish shade a little darker uh, the one I just made with the uh, Payne's gray made it a little darker through here um, his snout uh, has a little shadow here has a shadow here um, but basically this was the part that I was concerned about with you uh, learning how to do that uh, it's such a fun little thing to do and it really improves on the painting so uh, if you have any questions, like I said, because some of it was missing, I do apologize for that. Um, I don't know what happened. You know, it's just, uh, it's weird sometimes. My camera uh, and the way that I do this is kind of hard because I'm doing it all by myself. So um, if I don't have it on, uh, I don't realize it. So I think I'm filming. So uh, if... Like I said, if you have any questions, please contact me at Pittsburgh Artist, Pittsburgh Artist at Outlook.com or you can just uh, have some questions underneath here in the after the information section and I'll be happy to answer them. I try to get back to everyone. Um, my brushes that I used, I, I showed you those two brushes and I also used um, my number four uh, I don't know, shader it was a number four shader and I also used a number four blender chisel blender and that's how I did the eyes I went in there with that because I wanted to make sure that was nice and dark and I used the Payne's gray with that down here is a little Payne's gray and through here it's Payne's gray so um, yeah Payne's gray seems to be a good uh, color source for these animals so uh, you always want to try to remember that to use the Payne's gray uh, when you're doing this so um, until next time thank you for watching and uh, we will be having a new painting coming soon until then happy painting <laughs>